Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is part of our series about the Wix Data API and specifically Wix Data Query. Today we're going to be talking about how to sort the results that you get back from your query using ascending and descending. So let's get started. <music> So basically what ascending and descending do is they will sort the items that you get back from your query. And depending on which field you, use, you decide to use for the sorting, it'll sort them in a different way. So here we have the description for each, each different field type of how it will sort. So for numbers, it'll sort numerically. Uh, dates, it'll sort by date and time, string, lexicographically, etc. So for example, if I choose ascending, and it's a number field, then they will be ordered in ascending order. So the lower numbers will be first and the higher numbers will be later on. And in the case of dates, so the earlier dates will be first and the later dates will be later on. And strings lexicographically, it's a little more complicated, so you can kind of look it up. But in general, it will be uh, alphabetically. So, you know, if we have uh, somebody, a string that's starting with A and a string that's starting with B, then, and we're talking about ascending, so it should be A before B, if I'm not mistaken, and we'll see it in a moment, and to be honest, sometimes I often forget which direction should be ascending and which should be descending, uh, because, I mean, for numbers, it's quite straightforward, but when it comes to strings, it's not so intuitive. Uh, and so often I just have to try it out and then switch it for the correct one, uh, which might happen in this video as well. Uh, so let's head over to our demonstration and let's start with the easy one, which is numbers. Okay, and here I have a query set up that will be looking for people whose age field is less than 45. And I also want to add an ascending here. So we added here just right after um, all of our, uh, you know, methods on the query and before the word find, and I'm just going to say ascending. And we're going to be ascending by the age field, okay? And if I, I need to define the field here that we're going to be ascending by because I could be querying for people who are under 45 and still ascending by, for example, their first name. Okay, so let's see what that query returns for us. And I'm just going to go for a search and let's open up our console over here and see what came back. So we got back 15 results and in result number one, we have age 12 and then we have age 13 and we have age 23 later on and we have 34 later on. So you can see that it gave us back um, people who are, uh-oh, we got back someone whose age is more than 30. Oh, I set it to 45. Sorry. <laughs> In the last video, it was 35. That's why I got confused. Uh, so that's still good. And 43, which is also under 45. And it's all in ascending order, uh, which is excellent. And now if I just go back and I change this to descending, and do that one more time, then you should see that we get back the same results, but in the opposite order. So let's take a look at that. And we can see here that on the top, we have somebody age 43, while here on the bottom, we have somebody age 15. So that is descending order. Now let's take a look at how that would look with strings. Um, and we're going to still search for people who are under the age of 45, but here, instead of that, we are going to be using another collection field, which is first name. Okay, so let's see what happens if we use descending, but instead of age, we use first name, which is a string. So let's go into preview and run our search. And let's see what we got back over here. So the first name of this person is Zonda, which starts with a Z, uh, which is the last letter of the alphabet, and it's also capitalized. 
Uh, and then as we move down, we should be seeing, okay, here we have a J, G, D, and finally A. Okay, so descending means it'll start from the end of the alphabet to the beginning of the alphabet. In general, there are some more rules to that, uh, but generally speaking, assuming you have rather simplistic strings, uh, such as names, then that is what should be happening. And if I change this to ascending, then you can probably guess what's going to happen, but let's just take a look and visualize it. So I'm going to go over here and just run our query. And you can see here the first one is August, which is A, and then G later on, and the last one will be Zonda, which is Z. Okay, so this is one way that you can sort your data. Um, you can also use different sorting methods for arrays um, after you get your data back, but this is a kind of convenient way to make sure that your data comes back in the right order off the bat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.